to faint. I'm thinking of starting a new series entitled Jaeger Sucks at Gaming. So let's get right into it. Ah, one more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. So this game is pretty much a mixture of a collectible card game and an RPG. And I find it pretty interesting. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Right, the Jack of Dust. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Of an ancient temple among the eternally shifting sand dunes lives a mysterious leader of the desert bandits. Infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain, he rules as a king over the barren lands. Let the cards fall where they may. Right. We begin. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention. And you notice he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, and sits patiently, waiting for your answer. Well, I can give him the bread of my plate, or ask him what he needs, or ignore him. I'll give him some food. He considers the bread seriously before placing it up in his coat pocket seemingly satisfied. Mr. Lionel taps the staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. I guess he's British. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one shield. All right, a shield. Just a bomb diggity. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. I also will try not to interrupt this guy as he's talking, as I feel he gives a nice, uh, nice life to the story. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off of your plate and sprints out the tavern door. I like Mr. Lionel, he's pretty cool. The maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the fairest folk. Forest folk, my people have longed helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Well, I could ask for a longer life, ask for supplies or gold. Um, I seem to be doing pretty good on both food and health, but I have zero gold. So I'm going to ask for some gold. Merith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin, but very well, if that is your wish. The dealer draws you three gold game cards. Fifteen gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Fifteen gold. Twenty gold. 
sorry, that was a that was a good haul. The greatest of the magical artifacts were forged long ago, and only have limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely, and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down and retrieve the weapon or leave it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna climb down. Three success, one failure. This is good. Choose from these options. Um, let's go with two. Success. Very carefully, you make your way down to the bottom of a canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one weapon card. All right, sword. It's better than my rusty axe for sure. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. Oh, I thank you, Sayers. Very fancy. You have discovered the exit of this area. Take the stairs or turn back. Obviously, we want to take the stairs. You take the stairs. You embark upon the next leg of your journey. You are on the final floor of our simple map. All right, well, your this opponent is waits here for you. Find him. This if you defeat me, well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. All right, we have an ambush. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster. Two of dust. Let's do this. I believe this is our first actual combat encounter. I do like the way how it folds a whole bunch of cards on top of you. At least that of which you have equipped. And I think the uh, 3D fighting is pretty well done. You can now counter game. your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. It's definitely an inter entertaining game to be sure. weapon, but effective nonetheless. It's better than my sword, but I think the sword is faster. I'm gonna get really? The axe. Is that what you're going to do? Three food, that's always nice. And three more food. Alright, we're sitting pretty on food. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. All right, two of dust. Not, not too difficult. Ah! Uh, got the sword. The sword. The sword. So far, so good. I don't think I've lost any hit points. I probably just jinxed myself. I already have a I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Three more food. I do not think I'll need it since this is the last floor. And 75 gold, and I have not encountered a shop yet. And I won't. I've you have reached my first champion. 
a good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him, wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. I like that little pun right there. Forge my tools, now we see your metal. It's very nice. I might have to steal that. Alright, the Jack of Dust. I believe I already read his paragraph. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Bring it out. That's a lot of tokens, not gonna lie. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter attack. Six of into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. Uh, we have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. So pretty much every token you obtain, you are able to get more cards. That could be anything from encounters to new weapons to artifacts. Um, however, like I said, the encounters are going to be more difficult, which is what he was saying, as you improve, so do I. As a reward for dealing with the bandit jack, you receive these rewards. A jack of skulls, I guess he's an ex-boss. Dead King's Hall, a local peasant. Devil's Choice of the River, and Captain of the Gods. Blah blah blah, you receive these rewards. Medium armor, chains of rage, mercenary contract, medium armor, fortitude's breath, and desperate measures. Bandit attack, maze of traps, and goblins. Shall we deal again? Ah, good. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. So before Your we end hero this video. is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. This guy talks a lot. So before we end the video, I'm going to. Time for you to face my undead army. Meet the Jack of Skulls. So, what I want people to do in the comment section is uh, I want them to tell me. If they would rather I customize my equipment, my deck rather, or just have it random night, well, how do you say, uh, recommend the deck each time. I would also like people to say which type of person I should play, and if no one says anything, I shall keep playing on Adventurer. Alrighty. And 
and that goes for the same with the encounters. Very nice, though I cannot remove these cards with Some the cards are locked and cannot be removed from your deck. Okay, there you go. Very fancy. Cards with little tokens at the bottom of the screen right around here. Those means... That means I want you to feed me a card. You gain a token. It probably expects a very specific outcome most of the time. Alright, well that's all for this first video.